Welcome to The Fisher Files. I'm your host, Felix Fisher. We've got a great case for you today. Across from me sits investigative journalist Veronica Whitfield. Welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me, Felix. Okay, so I've been fascinated with this case for years now. Yeah, I mean, we've all seen this case on all the TV shows, and it's actually become quite a fixture in pop culture. Definitely. We're, of course, referring to Dante Blackstone, the famous 20th century illusionist who mysteriously disappeared after a performance in Austin, Texas, what, 1959? Right. <laughs> the disappearing illusionist, how ironic. But it actually goes way deeper than that. What I've discovered is going to solve this case and shed light on exactly what happened. See, it was a hot summer day in North Texas. Will Tanner was out working on a car in his garage. Married couple, Michael and Claire Johnson, were on a road trip to see a relative. They got lost, they stopped and asked for directions. Ooh boy, brand new, 1958 DeSoto. That's sweet. Yes sir, thank you. It seems we've gotten ourselves lost, however. I was wondering if you could point us to the new interstate. Well, where y'all headed? Uh, hoping to hit Kansas by nightfall. Kansas? She ain't getting out of this Texas heat on a day like today. I'd sure hate for you folks to get stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. Yes, darling, I think he's right. Perhaps we should try to avoid that. Well, if y'all are looking for a place to stay, right around the bend down here, there's a ranch house. It's got a swimming pool. It's got some shade and a really nice room they're at. Sir, hi, do you live here? Don't you, uh, well, uh, you don't, uh, well, well, yes, tis my humble abode. Welcome. <laughs> I've been expecting you. You have? Oh, I am so grateful you're here. I wasn't sure you'd come. <laughs> Let me show you around the place. Come on. <laughs> let's go this way. I, I let so many years go by. The last time I saw you, you were just a sweet young little thing. Little Barbara. Now you're all grown up. Barbara. And what a lovely woman you've become. My long lost niece. I think we've come to the be the new proprietor of all my estates. The doctors, they say I ain't got much time left. So grateful you got here in time to sign those papers before I'm in the dirt. Now, I can die happy knowing my legacy live on through you. My beautiful niece. Uh, let's go see the pool. Okay. You remember when we made up that fun pool game? We called it Fire Escape. Maybe we could play it again, just for old times' sake. Sure. I'd love that. What, darling? Wouldn't it be fun to do that? Why don't y'all go make yourselves comfortable? I'm gonna go gather up those papers. What are you doing? Taking advantage of a senile old man? Well, it's his dying wish. We couldn't possibly break his heart like that. Well, what's gonna happen when the real heirs show up and we get busted? Well, what if they don't? All of this could be ours. Up on in. Ain't this that couple's car that was just here? Yeah. They fell for the crazy rich old man scheme. <laughs> uh, 
Well, they're not going to be too happy when they discover Mr. Blackstone in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell are we getting out of here now, genius? Oh, come on! So two innocent men went to prison for life for a crime they didn't commit. I wouldn't exactly say they were innocent. 